This is me, Sue the Beast. I don't know if any of you have noticed this or not, but I've kind of been dead for the last couple weeks. And by that I mean there's been absolutely no Nintendo or Smash Brothers or anything kind of my channel related news for, I don't know, forever now. Until Wednesday or was it Thursday? I don't know, midweek. Midweek, Nintendo decided to announce their Nintendo 2DS handheld console. Now you might be thinking to yourself if you haven't already seen it, which I'm sure by now, since it's ancient news, all of you have... What in the fuck is a 2DS? What? Well, for those of you who've been living under a rock and don't know, the Nintendo 2DS basically is a new handheld console that's going to be coming out later this fall. And what it's going to do is it plays 3DS games without 3D. And that's it. And see, the thing is, it's not even like a regular DS. It's like... It looks like the Wii tablet controller, except kind of scrunched up. It's got two screens and, like, odd button placement. It, it looks really... It looks like a pancake, basically. Like, if you just took, like, a 3DS and steamrolled it, like they do in Roger Rabbit with uh, Judge Doom at the end of the movie, that's what it would look like. Or, you know, you kind of give the... You scrunch up and push together a Wii U tablet controller and cause the, two, the big screen in the middle to kind of pop into two and one goes under the other... That's what it looks like. It's really, really weird, and it's, I would imagine it's probably not that comfortable to fit in your pocket. Now, the thing that kind of confuses me the most about this thing is that I think for the Nintendo 3DS itself, you don't really need... Yeah, 3D, you do not need that on to play every single game. As far as I'm concerned, the 3D is an option. Maybe some games, if they're developed that way, require you to use it, but I think, as the most part, you do not need to use... 3D to play 3DS games all the time. There might be the few very rare ones where it is, it is a requirement, but I think for the most part it is completely 100% optional to the user of the console. So this thing's main gimmick is the fact that it doesn't, it's a 2DS, everything you play on there is in 2D, you don't need to use any 3D gimmicks. It's like, well, the 3DS, despite having that gimmick, doesn't really need it anyway, it's if you want to use it. Uh, the only one plus I see for this, which, you know, as I said, does this thing even have a market for it, is the question I have, because I'm wondering if you gamers are interested in this thing, because uh, it does have an awkward shape, it does do what a 3DS does, except not everything that a 3DS does, and its buttons are, they look like they would not be all that comfortable, and on top of that, comfort is not going to, is going to be a big problem with this thing, because that thing does not look comfortable at all, I mean, you can't fold it, you can't make it any smaller than it is. It's shoving this big ass tablet thing in your in your pocket. And it looks bigger than any old phone or anything like that. I'm sure it might be slimmer than the Wii U's tablet controller, but I mean, it's, it's not going to be the most comfortable thing to try and carry around. The one positive I could see this thing going for it is if it is a 2D, if it is just 2D and it's made a little cheaper. The thing is that this thing will be cheaper for people who can who can't afford an actual 3DS. I don't know what the exact price difference is. But I believe this thing is considerably less money than a Nintendo 3DS. And if you weren't into that much into 3D and you didn't want to use the gimmick and all that, and then, you know, the bigger, the, the console with more is too much for you, then you can take the significantly cheaper made version that does not do any 3D and just plays a few games that would be fit to you. Because believe me, that's the only market I can see for this is people who do not have the money for a 3DS want to play some games, you know, all the games that people are playing on a 3DS, but they don't really have enough to pay for a 3DS, so they go the a cheaper route and get a 2DS. You know, this economy, I guess that makes, it does make a lot of sense to kind of do a cheaper version, but this thing just kind of screams, you know, we had the Game Boy Advance, the SP, and all that, and then when the SP came out, that was like, you know, the 3DS, and the original Advance was like the cheaper version for everybody else to buy, and then it just kept going, or, you know, Game Boy Color and a regular Game Boy, it just feels like it's a you know, a, spin, a cheaper spin-off to try and sell more in a weird way. Like, you know, if we can't get all the market to buy the 3DS, let's have the people who don't afford it as much have them buy the 2DS and we're still selling stuff, basically. We're still selling units. And that's basically what this feels. Like, it's just kind of like a cheap you know, uh, rehash of the 3DS to be made. And I said the positive for it is that the people who cannot afford, I'm not taking any credit to that. I don't have either of them. But for people who cannot afford a 3DS and they want to do this route, that is absolutely fine. But will that market 
even want to do that? Do they want to buy this thing? I mean, it does look like a Wii U gamepad, like a tablet controller. That's what this thing looks like, except with two separate screens and really awkward button placement. You have the tablet controller for the Wii U had awkward button placement. This thing looks like it would be extremely uncomfortable to play. And I mean, what else is there to it? To like, at all? Like, what are the specs? Can it play every single 3DS game? I'm with the way it's being built up and unveiled. I'm sure it can play all of it. I'm absolutely sure. But I mean, if its main gimmick is just trying to sell the fact that this thing doesn't use 3D and you can just play games normally, it's like, well, your 3DS does that too. And in fact, Nintendo a while back toned down the 3D gimmick to the 3DS, focused more on individual unique games, and well, what the hell, it started selling better. At this point in time, the Nintendo 3DS has a better library of games than the Wii U, which here's a little mini mid-rant thing. You want to know why the Nintendo 3DS has a better selection of games? You want to know why it's a stronger console than the actual platform console? I would say that the 3DS has stronger third-party support for it than the Wii U does. The reason that the Wii U is like not doing very well at all is because of the lack of third-party support. You know, People can talk about uh, the unoriginality. They can talk about, you know, how marketing's been shit, and believe me, it hasn't been the greatest. Do you see one Wii U commercial very much anymore? Unless a new game's coming out that has, oh, it's also available for Wii U. The marketing has been shit. Don't get me wrong. The marketing has been less than desirable. However, there's absolutely nothing other than Nintendo's big first and second party big title games. There's no... Compared to something like an X, the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 that are coming out at the end of this year, the Wii U does not offer anything in terms of third party that these that these consoles are going to have. The variety is with Sony and Microsoft. Nintendo does not have any variety for the Wii U. It's They've, they've completely distanced them, uh, themselves from working with any of these companies. Uh, Ubisoft doesn't want to do anything with them. They've done some stuff, but they're even breaking, burning bridges with them. EA's completely stayed clear of Nintendo. Uh, companies are just, they, they're refusing to develop anything for the Wii U. And I think it's because they feel that Nintendo really kind of half-arsed it with a console. Now, you know, the graphics has never been a big thing with Nintendo. I mean, the Wii didn't have shit for graphics compared to the PS3 or the uh, 360. The N64 really, it was kind of there. It was like the first, or the GameCube is a better example. We can't really fault the N64. It had pretty much as good graphics as PlayStation. Maybe that and PS had a little better. But what... Uh, you know, the GameCube did not have anything in comparison to the PS2 or the original Xbox. So it's never been that kind of thing. But I think even companies now just kind of feel that they should have probably held off on their console a lot longer, tried to bump up the specs for it and the processing power, and really tried to create something big and epic and awesome. And they just kind of uh, upgraded the Wii, so to speak, to like a PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 level without kind of maybe skipping a bit of the generation and trying to do something really, really huge. And I think the the fact that these people think they're going to get more copies sold and people buying more from, say, the Sony's PlayStation or Microsoft's Xboxes, that they're not going to waste their time spending money on making a Wii U version that they won't get their money back. And that is a huge, huge monster, 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 huge problem for Nintendo right now is the lack of third-party support for this console is it's going to hinder it a lot. It's not going to do very well. And I mean, it doesn't, it's the different song and dance. I mean, the Wii had a big, big, huge marketing juggernaut scheme behind it to market the shit out of the gimmick of the console. The Wii U does not have that. It's not have that at all. It's, you know, they're just trying to wait until next year when a whole bunch of their big time first and second party titles come out and try to cash in on them. It's not looking good for the Wii U, and in comparison, the 3DS is doing much, much better because the broad of library games, like the, everything, it's got a lot of third-party support, well, at least a lot in comparison to the Wii U. Now, if you're going to compare it to big-time consoles that are made by Sony and Microsoft, obviously it's not going to have a shit in comparison. But compared to the Wii U, it's got a lot. And it's shown because I, I would say that handheld is thriving while the Wii U continues to struggle due to having its its issues with uh, adapting, basically. Uh, but so the 3DS is doing all right. The 2DS, on the other hand, I still have no idea if there's a market for it beyond 
people who can't afford a regular 3DS. And for those people who can't, wouldn't they just kind of go without it anyway because they don't really need it? So, for you gamers, and I'm even talking to you, the ones who may need to buy a 2DS, is this a console that you would go out and buy, despite the fact that um, it just does what it, it just does a little, like, less than a 3DS can do, it's kind of awkward to hold, and the buttons probably don't feel as comfortable. Is this something you would really want to have when it can't do as much? It's just a little food for thought, because I just thought, you know, the 2DS, the thing already exists within the 3DS. You don't need 3D for a 3DS. But then, you know, I've had talks with people, and there is the saving grace that this could be for people who can't afford more, so they need to buy something that's almost as good. Which, you know, giving people something that they can't afford that's still fairly, very good to play, I can be all for that. But is there a market beyond that? And does that, are the people of that market even willing to buy this thing? That is the main question. Of course, as always, you can shoot your comments on this whole opinion of both down below. I kind of did a mid-video change up with talking about the Wii U struggle in third party. You can even shoot a comment about that down there. Of course, visit fanboysanonymous.com. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down and tell me how much I suck because, you know, I love that. I actually do. And... If you are new to this channel and you liked what you've seen, subscribe. If you hated it, uh, just completely uh, dislike the video and never come to my page again. Yeah, you know, simple as. Um, of course, if you have anything you want to talk to me about in this world of gaming, you can shoot me a personal message. You can add me on Skype. And, of course, we can talk about the wonderful world of video games, mainly Nintendo and their second and first party titles because that's what I seem to be at least mildly intelligent in discussing. So with that, I bid you all adieu. Have a good rest of your weekend, everybody. Enjoy your Labor Day, and I'll see you all later. Peace out, everybody.